You're back. We just got a new shipment of Rizzo's mock apple cider. It's hard. Wait, was that the slogan? Never mind. Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RRDD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Birdie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Oh my! Birdie, a murderer? Well, everyone has their flaws. I'll be sure not to bring it up on our first date. Welcome, now I... Footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. You can tell a lot about an animal by its tracks. she was going. You think someone was giving her chase? Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen.
hardline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. doing in here are you authorized to be in the conservatory are you trying to give me a heart attack are you my ex-wife no she fell off the side of eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago conveniently rendering our marriage contract no you must be the new uh, groundskeeper hmm i can't be it either seeing how the new one hasn't died yet just who are you? Very funny. If you were Edna, you would have stabbed me in the throat halfway through the second word of my first question. Oh, this poor fellow's lost his wits. I'm getting old, damn it. And after a while, anything that isn't a plant gets hard to distinguish from anything that is. But no, you don't look like it now. Though you do smell a bit like her, like blood and starship grease. You must be that freelance inspector. Well, I suppose you can poke around as you like. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff he gets bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not, I would have had a harsh word for her. I heard she pushed her way into a tour of the RR and DD labs not soon after. She's just a serial actress, yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again, which is a shame, of course, taken too soon and all. I sit inside and I look at plants. Goal is usually to make Rizzo's fruit products hardier and sweeter, but for every success, there are a couple of hundred failures. Example, tried breeding native tripicale with a foreign strain. Would have called it hexticale. In the end, it bred so fast, workers were swallowed up before they could harvest it. That one, I think, can be attributed to the waspinos. Some lament their irritability, but their productivity is unmatched. What's a few dead workers in the architect's designs? Hmm. 
You'd be the first two. Everyone else just says, I got bark instead of a heart. They just don't understand me. Not like my plants do. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. of wicker detected, embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. The only members of a tossball team strong enough to crack a stick into are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the tossball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. Let's not jump to conclusions. There are drunk primals stomping around. One of them could have broken it. Administrator Ludovico can seem intimidating, but he's a decent fellow. I know he cares.
Nicely done. Monster kills all these people over a day. Got a hedge maze? Captain, we got him. already told you six times, and I'll tell you six more. I don't want a fucking tour! You can badger me all you want. I don't care if I'm from Forest Mills. I'm here as an individual, and I have just as much right to be here as any other visitor. You're welcome to bring a lawyer if you really want to try to force me out, but I can guarantee you that I will bury them. Laws alive? Rizzo's has finally sent their strong armors, I see. Wait a moment. You have all your teeth. You're not soaked in filth, and you don't look quite as slack-jawed as the regular Rizzo's staff. Are you not with Rizzo's? Bah! I've lived in Byzantium long enough to read between your words. Here's your filthy money. Since you're already here, perhaps I can sweeten the pot even further. Regardless, please inform me if you'd be interested in a job. 
I've spent enough time out here that I'm starting to itch. I do not enjoy itching. I'm sure you have questions. I did. You see, Rizzo's has been advertising a contest in the Puzzle Hedges. Whoever gets to the center first gets a bottle of the first Spectrum ever made, the Spectrum Original. My interest, however, lies with the associated promise, the chance to attend the Spectrum Brown unveiling and meet Halcyon Helen. Indeed, you are a savvy one. Rizzo's can no longer make good on their promise, which means this entire contest is one big fraud case. All I need is a single piece of evidence. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzo's for all they're worth. That's where you come in. Excellent! I look forward to finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well. My word, stranger, you sure gave me a fright. I thought you were one of those strange sorts heaving all over the place. Maybe they got a bad batch of purpleberry wine. Since you don't seem to be laughing maniacally or projectile vomiting, think you could do me a favor? I'm trying to come up with a new name for a glacial age product, but the creative side of things just isn't my area of expertise. Do you happen to have any ideas? Wow, a real consultant. And I had the good fortune for you to luck into me. I'd be delighted to pay you. So, the company I'm with is Glacial Age. Our products usually have a finer ring to them, and the product I'm trying to name is a vodka. Take your shot. Wow, that sounds great. I'm sure my bosses will love it. And don't worry, I'll absolutely credit you in one of the product footnotes. Hell no! Who'd sightsee in a place like this? I've nearly stepped on three landmines, and I just had to crawl through a hole in a hedge to keep myself from being crisped up by a mechanical. When you hear the word maze, do you typically think of instant death lurking around every corner? Because I sure don't. Close. I want what's in the center. You've heard of the competition, right? Whoever gets to the center gets a rare Rizzo's product and the chance to meet Halcy and Helen? My eyes on the rare Rizzo's product, namely the Spectrum Original, the first product Rizzo's ever made. I intend to reverse engineer it and make it Glacial Age's own. So you're just gonna steal somebody else's formula? <sighs> I probably should have seen this coming by now. Ooh, this is dandy. I was not expecting any feedback from field testing before I'd even created the product. I'll be sure to jot that down for future reference. All I need for my prototype is the original itself. Then I can start production. Looks like the others are getting a little more aggressive. I know it's asking a lot, but maybe you could find it for me instead. How about a struggling R&D developer? My, oh my, wouldn't it be wonderful if a freelancer could help rescue me from my horrible plight? Hey, Don't easy. We're not 
Stalking and we're stalking. Greetings. Have you brought your auto mechanical to the service technician lately? Respectfully, I think there are better places to try to sell things than the middle of a hedge maze. Judging by this exchange, I presume you are not the person I was waiting here to meet. You're not covered in a layer of dirt, fertilizer, and self-loathing. Listen, I don't know you, so I'd rather keep my admissions to a minimum without the presence of legal counsel. I was waiting for someone to give me information about these hedges. That's as much as you need to know. I'm pretty sure she's hiding something, and I'm not sure I want to know what it is. I take offense to that, I think. So loud. Ah, damn it. I guess you already know. I am indeed looking for the prize. You've caught me. Did you now? 
And how do you know the others aren't secretly Rizzo's agents who'll stab you in the back and take the bottle the moment you turn away? Give me the original and your actions will actually matter. I can promise you that. No. There's a bottom feeder who sees an easy payday connected to it, but he's hardly worth considering. I also briefly engaged with an optimistic young woman intending to use the original as a springboard for upward mobility. Better than letting it rot, but still not ideal. What interest have I in an unveiling? I don't watch much in the way of serials, and crowds only make it easier for people to get behind you. I'm after the Spectrum original itself. And not to drink. Have you noticed that there's no trace of anything the corporations have done in the past? In fact, this contest for the original is the only time I've ever seen a corp refer to a prototype product not currently on the market. And why isn't it on the market? Indeed. And it's happened before. Seems the Corp are trying to hide their past failings. Anyhow, it's valuable to me to collect that which might inform future generations. Think fast. Never know when someone will come out of a bush, bolt or pistol at the ready. Keep your voice down. Never know who might be listening. I'm afraid I haven't made much headway on my own. Admittedly, I'm a little wary of all the explosions I keep hearing. Think fast. Never know when... Nobody of consequence. Think of me as an archivist. I collect that which the corporations have dismissed as failures and try to sweep under the rug. Take the recalled Spacer's Choice Powerhead. It was a shotgun shell on a stick, apparently supposed to be used like a spear. Had a tendency to ream the user's torso with buckshot. Corps don't want the common man to know about screw-ups like that, which is why I keep my actions decidedly in the shadows. I did. Someone I paid to inform on the orchards after I heard murmurs of a prize here. For security reasons, I never learned much about my contacts. All I knew about this one was that they were a groundskeeper. But the one here is either senseless or acting very well. Presumably, whoever I was in contact with was lying, or they were found out and hurled off the side of Eridanos. It's a risk of the business.
quite unnecessary. <laughs> Seems a mite awesome. Give that gun directly to me. Going silent. <laughs> Analysis. Ground appears to be scattered with purpleberry seedlings. This particular strain is of a variety proprietary to Rissos and should not be in common use.
Hello again, youngster. You're certainly doing a lot of running to and fro. Don't overexert yourself. The wasp kiddos can smell weakness. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. Oh, there that damn thing is. Thank you. I guess this proves it's wise to label you things. Otherwise, some fool might use them as prizes in an ill-advised scavenger hunt. I will admit, I did take the original, yes. But I did so to keep it away from those who shouldn't have it. It's safer in my hands. If you're here to get it, I might suggest you give up. I'm known to be quite a stubborn git. an old man? Do I look fit enough to defend myself? I'll hand it over, seeing how I don't have any other choice. But you ought to be ashamed. Here's the original. Don't do anything with it that I wouldn't do. I'm glad you're back. The sooner I gain your assistance, the sooner I can leave these miserable outdoors and return to my temperature-controlled office. I'm sure you have questions. Ah, finally! Where have you been all my life, my darling? You and I will make quite a team, won't we? Your pay, good freelancer, I shall win this case in your honor. See the prophet.
This is Silvio Tran, setting a new record for the Grand Colonial Bellhops Laundry Cart League. If you're listening to this, you're listening to history. And tall tree, as we agreed, when I win, you're scraping terror shit off the windows for the rest of your contract. And you can stow the fear of heights routine, because there's no way you're weaseling out of that, pal. Here goes. That's... Move the box! No, not... No! No, I never imagined Spencer was... Oh, hell yes! Show me the biggest, fattest wildlife you've got, Eridanos. I'll bring it home on a plaque. Gunter, I need to ask you something. Who in the hell is Gunter? I told you to call You're me... You're the adjective's favorite gun, right? Wow. Oh, right. How they convince you to help uh, us out? Hunter, have you seen a little... Welcome to Hunter Legal's Legal Hunter Supplies. I am Hunter Legal. How might I help you today? Hunter Supplies. Get your Hunter Supplies. Welcome back. What can I do you for? Unusual. This whole land complex is a failed wildlife exhibition turned hunting reserve. You can't go ten feet without stepping in unusual. But I reckon you're asking about people unusual. I'd go have a chat with the prophet of profitability. Maybe she can intuit you in the right direction or something. But she is mighty far in the depths of the reserve. Perhaps you should purchase one of my fine armaments for the journey. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. 
It is a perfectly normal name for a shop dispensing hunter supplies. Don't get smart with me. I'm just a shopkeep. We're better to sell hunter supplies than in the depths of the wilds. Surrounded by creatures that are just waiting to devour you. I've got an excuse, but the Prophet and her retreat don't. And they're even farther out. Prophet said I should gift her some rifles to improve my aura or something. I told her what she could do with her aura. I haven't spoken to her since. But you look like you're smart enough to not make the decision that she'll invariably regret. <laughs> <laughs>